Welcome to another tutorial episode, ladies and gentlemen, and today we'll look at some animations through script. As you can see, we did some behind the scenes decorating and we added a cat statue and one block on which it stands. This will animate and with its help we'll turn on these animators that we created in the last episode. But to turn them on, we'll first have to switch them off. So, here in properties we'll de-tick the enabled option so they won't go by default. And now let's have a look at this cat. Let's open its properties. Up here we'll set it to animated. Otherwise we couldn't animate it. Uh, but we won't choose any animators just yet. We'll add it its own interaction. Uh, the interaction will be called move and ID will also put move. Then let's have a look at its script. And from the events, let's again pull up the on interact tile. First thing we'll do is that we'll switch off interactions on the cat because we don't want the player to interact with it more than once. We'll find the disable interactions tile. And here, uh, as an entity, we'll choose uh, the cat, either with the dropper or through entities using the this tile, because we are in the scripting window of the cat. Now, how will we move it? Either we can move it through space with a move object tile, uh, but we'll just spin it. The tiles work similarly, so we'll explain it with the rotation. So only difference is that move works with position and rotation with, well, rotation. So in this window, uh, we choose the object that we want to animate. It can be a group, weld or entity. We now want to rotate the cat, so with the help of control and drag, we copy the this tile. Uh, to what rotation do we want to move it? If it was at 0, 0, 0, it would return to default. But we want to transform the rotation. We'll find the transform rotation file. And as you can see, uh, this tile has a small connector that falls right in, which will do. Not only simple references can be put in like this, but other tiles too that do their own stuff. You can then chain multiple tiles like this. But we'll settle with this and then set the entity as this, which is the cat. And as the offset will set the Y at 180, the Y axis rotates in the horizontal plane, so it will not go on its side, but it will still be standing up. Again, we can set up smoothing, which we'll have at zero, which it is. And the time the rotation will take, let's put two seconds. Then we'll find the set enabled tile. Uh, with this, we can switch off or switch on logics, which is quite useful. Let's add it to the script. For the game logic, we'll pick the particle effect that uh, we have here from the last time. This will switch it on in the script. Before we continue, let's recap what will now happen in the script. On the interaction itself, all interactions with the cat will switch off, so we can't interact with it again after we do the first mm -hmm. time. The cat will turn 180 degrees and it will take two seconds. There will be no smoothing. And then the particle effect will turn on. Now, we'll add another script tile that we didn't use before, delay. Delay will delay something for us in the script and wait its turn. You can choose if it will be in seconds, game hours, or if it will wait for a certain game hour time. We'll have it in real seconds. And we'll set it for two seconds. And that's because we want to wait for the cast rotation to end, so it will happen after that. So after those two seconds, to when the rotation will finish, we want to turn on the two animators that we have from last episode. We'll copy the set enabled game logic twice. And the first will choose the position animator and the second the rotation animator. 
So, now we have the script nice and finished. Let's look how it looks like in-game. So, we use the F5 and uh, we'll start the game. Oh, feeling excited. So, we can see our old scripts are working. Trigger zones too, that's good. And here's the cat. We'll press the right mouse button for interaction. The car starts turning and the particles turn on and the animators too. It went up beautifully and the way to the sword is free. And that's all for today. So next time we'll look at some AI behaviour. And until then, stay classy, Islanders.